Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sunday Night Live Half Dollar Search for Silver with me, Raven, of Raven Hot Coins. Hope everybody is having an awesome day. Good to see you. Getting the robot and everything situated. Riley Hoint... Riley Hunts Coins, what's going on, my friend? Gringo OG22, first person in the nest tonight. What's going on, my brothers? How you doing? We got Chris, the Nabster Nab in the house. Matt Poe, ringing constitutional. Bill, king of the LTD Gibson, version 6.9. Breeze for me, 721. Garrett C, the lucky James Eller. What is going on, my friends, my peoples? Whew, surfer, surfer in the house. Hope you're having a great day, my friend. What is going on? So we're going to hang out for a minute. Oh, you know what? Let me make sure the games are turned on for you guys. Bing, bing. Oops. Do, do, do. And uh, we have Hangman. Um... I hope it works. <laughs> All right, let me get over to the other games that we have. We have we have a lot of games in here now. Heist, duel, and boss battle. All right. Let me jump back over. I am doing very well, brother. Michael Hargis in the house. Joni Duffy, ringing constitutional package total. J Dog says you better call somebody. Nicole on your tube in the mix as well. Good to see Breeze for me in the house. Joni Duffy is here. Uh, Forest Ships is here. Silver Streak in the house. Chris Nab got my nest box yesterday. A big thank you to Miss Raven and you. So much. So thought of you both. I think he meant so thoughtful. <laughs> Richard Sappington, hey, 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 what up, Richard Sappington in the house. Let's start stuff up. Scott Thacker, Silver Banky, Jack Covert, what up, Caribbean Coinsman, the Teacher 1388 Raid. What's up, Sergeant Stacker, Treasure Woman, hello. Good to see you, good to see you. Epic Silver Tonight, a board-filled stream. Let's hope so, Michael Hargis. Plumber Stackers here with the raid. Good stuff, good stuff. Chris Nab says, correct. <laughs> I know how to speak the language of Nab. <laughs> Iron Jim says, Raven Hawk, great job yesterday. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Uh, Forest Cake says, sweet, a live video. Or Frost, Frost Kate. Sorry about that. Man, I messed up somebody's name already. B2 Constitutional, Ray Ray is here, Sparky's 406, what's up Sparky, Teacher 1388 Raid, Brother Dave, what's going on Brother Dave, good to see ya, Seaweave 2 says Raid, we're being raided folks, we're being raided, look out, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Carrie Tehran is here, Coin Crew, what's going on Coin Crew, Mr. Keith, I know we did really well uh, yesterday morning. I, as being part of the auction, I know we sold over ten grand, and then they continued into the night, and then they came back this morning, doing some stuff. So very cool. Big Bubba in the house. Good to see you, David G. Good to see you. Thank you for being here, Meek Rat. What's going in, brother? How you doing? <clears throat> And I know Coin Crew uh, gave up an entire day today to help, which was very cool of him. Transit Dave, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the show. Larry Powell, A K A L P two is here. Uh, thank you, Surfer Surfer. Surfer said you did an awesome job helping out teachers auction. I appreciate that, Mister B. Guys, Plumber Stacker, holy smoke, starting off as a stream boss with a fifty dollar super chat. Thanks for being a staple in this community, Raven. Thanks for helping teachers as well. Honored to be a part of this community. Very, very awesome, brother. Thank you so, so much for that. That is really cool. Uh, Nova Sky, thank you for coming in. How you doing? Uh, Maria, <clears throat> Maria Cervantes. 
in the house. How you doing? John Pierce says, I just subbed. Thanks for giving Teacher 1388 a hand yesterday. Coin Crew sent me over as Teacher's Auction shut down for the day. Well, John Pierce, thanks for coming over. Guys, we are officially sold out on the night. Um, here's a the thing. Deborah Eubanks, how you doing, my friend? Do you have the thingy? Kristen Mueller, what thingy? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's right here under the scope. Here you go. Papa Frank Guido. Can I have a, uh, Just speak. A baggie. Oh, a baggie, okay. When the moon hits your eye like a great binge pie, that's amore. <laughs> I messed up the song that time. Raven, turn off the bot. Oh, brr. Thank you, Seeker. And guys, by the way, big shout out and thank you to Seeker for the new layout that we have here. This thing is epically awesome. Guys, ring in Constitutional with a $20 super chat. Miss Raven, nice nesting. What a treat to get my egg. Uh, ring in Constitutional. Oh, 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 yeah. Ring in said thank you. Chris Nabb said thank you. Everybody said you've, you've been very good at helping with that. And I agree, guys. I agree. Miss Raven helps a lot. Juan Ramirez, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the channel, and thank you for subscribing to the show. Hope you like and uh, enjoy our upcoming stuff. And uh, good to see Ike's girl. Ike's girl, how you doing? Socks and sandals equal a beatdown uh, seeker. <laughs> oh, man. That's it. When a Benji hits your eye like a big pizza pie, the samore. All right, guys, we're going to start off. It is Mr. Dearborn's birthday. I'm not sure if he's here yet, but he he is here in, in, in uh, spirit. But we're also going to start the giveaway. We have our first giveaway. That's an early bird giveaway. You're going to get a 1971 proof set and some stickers and a couple of the last Peppa magnets. We are almost completely out of the Peppa silver pup magnets. So let me start that giveaway real quick. I got to reset stuff in here. Those of you that are new to the channel, our giveaways only cost 25 relics total. So don't worry, you'll be able to get in like anybody else. That's the max amount it takes to enter our giveaways. All right, so this is early bird giveaway. And that is open now. Good luck to everybody. I will throw up the bot there to show you that it's gone. But then I got to turn off some other stuff. All right. Let me get back over here. And uh, thank you very much to everybody that just signed up. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Crafty Dragon, how you doing? Thomas Tone, John Jacobs, Daniel Roberts, Crypto Pimp, how you doing, brother? Ringmaster Ray, Coinosaurus Rex, Drew V, good to see you. Lucky James Eller, D. Wayne Mansell. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with Mr. Dearborn. He has an entire box. He gets seven A marks in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven A marks and seven pulls out of the relic bag. Let's see what he gets. Starting off with a wheat bushel, silver dime, Buffalo Soldier, forty percent or Kennedy. You know what? I'm gonna do four and then three. We'll make it easy that way because I don't want to mess up the odds so much for him. All right, so wheat. Merc, 40 percenter, and a buffalo. 67, J Mag says, hey, Raven, great job yesterday for teacher. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you coming over here and hanging out with me, my friend. Hope you enjoy. All right, so there is the buffalo. We got three more pulls for him to go with his stuff. And the wheat penny bushel, we pull that out because we have a limited number of those. The silver dime and Kennedy go back in. And that's why I wanted to do that so that the odds are more in his favor. Teacher 1388, my friend. There you are, brother. You're welcome. I'm glad everybody helped out. I'm glad that we, as a, as a group of people, came together and have done really, really cool. Grid Down Homestead, how you doing? And uh, guys... Again, a big happy birthday to uh, Mr. Dearborn. Matter of fact, we got to say happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, Mr. Dearborn. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Wow, guys. All right. Mr. Dearborn getting two more 40 percenters. Holy smokes. And a large penny thrown his way. J Max said, Yes, I subscribe to your channel. Thank you, brother. I do appreciate you. All right. Let's see. What year are we going to give him? We're going to give him. How about 1936? And very, very cool. I hope, uh, teacher, I'm pretty sure I would, I would hope that you reached your goal, my friend, and that we did well for you, you know. That was definitely the intent, and a lot of, lot of people came together. It was really cool to see everybody. All right, so 1936, large penny going in there. Whispering Creature, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Raven, who got last spot? Oh, last spot is Flying Dutchman. And thank you, uh, Sergeant Stacker. I really appreciate your help, brother. I got my pencil. <laughs> Ringing Constitutional is trying to get me to sing some songs here. All right, so we're going to put Mr. Dearborn stuff to the side here. Get his box open. Keeping the fingers crossed, hoping for silver. Let's do a live happy $5 Canadian super chat from my brother Canadian Ryan. Happy birthday, Mr. Dearborn. Good luck, buddy. Let's rock on the stream, gang. All right, guys. I'm going to turn back on the merch stuff and stuff and turn off the bot because you guys can see that you're getting in there. We'll pull the winner here in just a couple minutes. And uh, Nova Sky, the relics, you, you basically hang out and you over time get relics in the channel. And those are used to play the games and different things that we have going on here. Hey, coins for amateurs. What's going on, Chad? All right, guys. Here we go. We got this bad boy open. I don't see. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm hoping we get some silver. Looks like that might be an NIFC ender. Guys, right here, this looks pretty promising. Booyah. We got silver, baby. We're going to do a live Suzuki. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we find silver, we say Suzuki. All righty. Very, very cool. Jesse O in the mix. Let me see where we're at on the early bird. We still have a couple minutes to go, so you can still get your name in there. And uh, good luck to everybody. Matter of fact, for those of you that didn't see the uh, video earlier today for the preview, the Industream giveaway is a 1966 and 1967 United States Mint Special Proof set. Heck yeah, we got some silver in the box for Mr. Dearborn. And good to see uh, Silver Seeker here, Mustang Dave. So this is the 67, just to give you an idea. If you've never seen one of these really cool uh, United States special mint sets that came in this type of packaging. Very cool. So the end of stream is going to be those two items absolutely free to chat. And then after every box, we have giveaways as well. All right, so let's get into this. I'm going to pull this all out of the box here and hopefully we find more. What up, Mufid? How you doing, my friend? Good to see you, brother. Coins for amateurs in the house. Casey Rhodes, how you doing? Casey, we're sold out for tonight, but we will have more every Sunday, my friend. And uh, Kathy's Corner, thank you my, thank you for that compliment. I appreciate it. She says she likes the voice. Woo woo! Is there an ender? Yes, there is an ender right here. We're going to put it up front. I'm going to look and see if we get any more enders through the box. But I love seeing some silver to start out the night. And we actually have an up-to-date counter now because of Silver Seeker and the work he did making sure that I had a new lay layout here. Very, very stoked on the layout, and I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's see. I don't see another Silver Ender yet, but you never know. Get these all out of the box. And... Anna, I'm crazy. What's going on, my friend? Corey W., good to see you, brother. Good to see you. King's Coins, how you doing, King's Coins? Man, King's Coins, known you for a long time. Matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, when you see me do my uh, 
searches and I have the little Kennedy mids and pin nickel mids and, and whatnot, the penny mids, uh, King's Coin actually made the stand that I use, which I really, really appreciate. I thought that was very cool of him. All right, guys, let's get into this. Let's get into the first roll that's got the silver ender. Hopefully, we get a lot of cool stuff. All right, come on. Silver, more silver than what's on the end. All right, guys, let's see what it is. It's a 1969 40%er. Booyah, baby. Very cool. And uh, let's see here. I get to now update this, so bear with me. I'm, I'm getting used to doing this. <laughs> so we got one 40%er on the night. Let's rock it, guys. Uh, Sergeant Stacker back in the house. Brian Smouse is here. Stuff Collector, how you doing? Larry Powell the second is here. If you guys do not know LP2, check him out. Entries have stopped, says Jesse O. So after I get through this roll here, I will uh, jump over there and see who is our first winner of the early bird tonight. And don't forget, we have a giveaway after each and every box. So there's always something cool going on. You never know what's going to be added into our stuff. So let's see who's the winner of the early bird giveaway in three, two, one. Silver Wishes. You are the winner of the first giveaway today. The 1971 proof set. You get yourself some the some of the last of the Peppa stickers. Matter of fact, man, guys, it is getting hot in here. Get that in here. Silver Wishes says, oh yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, so Silver Wishes. Thank you very much. Put that in the box. Oh, I forgot, guys. We're going to have some new commands here in the very near future. Matter of fact, um, give me one second. I'm going to put this in here right now. So we have a new command. It says exclamation mark giveaway win, G-A-W win. And when you see that, that'll give you the email that you can get. I need to add some more stuff, but I just learned how to do that recently. So I'm pretty stoked. I've been watching for a while. Really enjoy this community and the support. Also, back to making videos. Nice, guys. So check out King's Coins. He's back to making videos. Inkman78, my brother from right down the street. Good to see you. Yes, Inkman is a local Normanite with me. Uh, Angry Warrior Tackle Box in the house. How you doing, Angry Warrior? Uh, Silver Wishes, just send me an email about what, you, uh, what you'd like to do, my friend, and, and we'll see what we can do for you. That'll make it easier, because I'll forget. <laughs> Not not to be rude or anything, but I will. I'll end up just kind of forgetting because I got a lot going on. But, uh, yeah, if you just email me and let me know. Savvy Stacker, what's going on? Uh, yeah, you know what? That's that's fine. Matter of fact, uh, Silver Wishes, hold on. I can pull these out right now. That's not a problem. I, I thought you were talking about somebody else. But here we go. We'll put that there. Dan M, what's up, my friend? Well, thank you for being subscribed, brother. I appreciate it. You know, um, a lot of times it happens to channels where they, you know, for some reason, if you don't, uh, I, I don't really know why they do it. I've heard reasons like if you don't watch enough of the videos or whatnot, but who knows? Oh, I don't know why I just put Dan's name on there. I was talking to him. <laughs> oh, man, this is supposed to be Canadian Ryan. All right, cool. LNW Show, what's going on, my friend? 
ring in constitutional. Singing Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Right? All right. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find some more silver in the mix. Oops. Dropping stuff here. We got a mini coin explosion going on. Look out. Ike's girl. Postage is going up. Yes, it is. It is going up. About to take a vacation from YouTube, says Ink Man. I need a break. Sometimes that happens, brother. I understand taking a break from time to time, you know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of different chats. And sometimes people get their feelings hurt over small stuff, you know. I've, uh, I know exactly what it, what it's like to want to take, take that time and, and kind of cool down and just do your thing and then come back when you're not feeling the same way, which makes, makes a lot of sense. Let me see something here. This looks weird. He's got a really weird scratch across the surface here. I thought it might be a magic coin for a second, but nope, it feels about right. Michael Hargis found a 1917 Philly in his weedy, it, weedy in his change today. Nice. Yeah, Ike's Girl, no, that is very good information. Guys, matter of fact, oh, thank you, uh, teacher, for bringing that up, even though I was going to here. Give me a second here. Um, I had that song stuck in my head at work earlier this week. <laughs> Poor Canadian Ryan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be having a poker tournament, and it's going to be hosted via Poker Stars. I'm just waiting for approval for our room, but we will have a Raven Nation poker tournament room, and it'll be via Poker Stars. So once I get all the information down pat and whatnot, um, we're going to, we already have a list of people that are already interested, but I know more people are going to be interested and, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. You'll sign up through poker. You'll get a poker stars account and then we'll have our very own private tournament online hosted via poker stars. And then I, you know, I get to be in part of the tournament too. I don't have to worry about anything. There were some other, uh, formats that weren't too bad. But I think the Poker Stars one will be the fun way to do it. You know. Breeze for me, yes, we're having a poker, a Texas Hold'em tournament for Teacher 1388. D. Bursch says, I'd be in for a poker tournament. So anybody that's interested that wants to be in the poker tournament that are, hasn't already signed up, send us an email saying poker tournament in the subject line and that you want to be a part and we'll put you in the list. And yes, it's going to be Texas Hold'em. Ron Cleaver, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Good to see you. But yeah, we're going to have a really cool tournament. We're going to just determine what the entry fee and everything will be in, in here in the next uh, week or so. And uh, yeah, I didn't know Poker Stars was still around, says Mustang Dave. But yeah, they are. And you can do your own private tournaments. And so what we'll do is um, we'll either have a cash entry or we'll have a silver entry, just depending on what uh, when I talk to teacher. And uh, Ike's girl and Corey W., I wanted to uh, ask you guys what you think is, is more appropriate to the room, you know, uh, what you guys think is a fair amount. Um, I found that we can do these, do this one way or another. You know, we can, uh, what we'll do is we can either have a silver donation, which we talked about before, which I actually prefer that everybody send in something like an ounce of silver or, or whatnot as your entry. And then, um, you know, we do the tournament and it's for bragging rights and what we raise goes over to teacher 1388. So let me do this guys. Let's see. Um, so for the tournament, since most of you that are interested are in this room, what's up, Robert Worley? I'm going to put in here a thing here. Give me one second. Uh, 
Hold on a second. Um, enter one for cash, two for silver, for tournament. I can never. Um, all right, guys. So right there, I put, what do you prefer, cash or silver for the tournament? Please put a one or a two, and then we'll, we'll figure it out. What's up? Uh, there's a spreadsheet for the Liga Nation members. There's another tab for the sign-up sheet. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I told people to, to email us, and we'll add them. All right, then, guys, make sure you get your vote in. And, uh, yeah, if you guys prefer a silver donation over a cash thing, I have no problem one way or another. We will take the vote, and the vote will determine it, guys. <clears throat> uh, Ike's Girl, if, if they vote for the silver donation, then I don't have a way to turn around and say, uh, you know, $10 buy-in. But if they go the cash route, then I don't have a problem. We'll do kind of a vote, too, to see what the room thinks. I think $10 with an additional buy-in is pretty fair, you know? Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think you had a really good, valid suggestion. Um, I just want to see what, you know, everybody here wants to do in lieu of, you know, me just making a decision on it because I'll make it more fun, you know? Um, Ike, Ike's Girl, I just plan on giving the silver to, uh, to Teacher was the idea behind it was because he sold off most of what he has that we were trying to help him uh add a little bit of silver back into his stack you know via that so but i'm i'm definitely you know flexible and open to suggestions and so far it looks like the twos for the silver are in the lead all right come on guys we want some more silver in this box Let's do it. So, I hope that some of you that are new to the channel that haven't uh, seen yesterday's video or even people that are already members and whatnot, go check out the video on what to do with your silver once you pass. I know it's kind of a dark subject, but if you haven't thought about it, it is definitely something that you should uh, look at. You know, I try to make sure that I, I steer you guys in the right direction. And uh, hopefully it's good help for you. Yeah, Ike's girl, he does. You know, we need to help him out. Um, get him a little bit more silver in his mix. Larry Powell, number one is if you want to donate cash. Number two is if you want to donate silver, brother. So cash over silver. Surfer Surfer says that was a great video. Thank you, brother. Uh, D. Birch says, I, number one, but we'll do either. Thank you, man. I appreciate the flexibility and understanding. Still looks like the, the, the twos have the lead. The twos are in the lead. Coyote Whacker, what's going on, Coyote? How you doing, my friend? So far, we got one NIFC, to, or not NIFC, 140% silver tonight. Hoping to find some more goodies in here. What's up, Mark East? How you doing, brother? Um, also, if you're new to the channel, we have a weekly auction on Thursday nights. Uh, kind of the same format as what you see going on right now. We do giveaways every once in a while. And most of those giveaways come out of the, the lots that we put up. So you want to take a look at the preview video, you know? And that'll tell you what we got going on. Plan ahead. Remember... I have never seen a moving truck at the end of funeral procession. Yep, that's true. That is true. Planning ahead is important. Papa Frank, Guido. Papa Frank, a nice, good dude in the community. And uh, I'm surprised I don't see Ida in here and uh, whatnot. I know she, she uh, was having fun in the auction. I would suggest two different tourneys, one for cash, one for silver. Hey, there you go. Oh, I love playing Omaha. Omaha Hilo. Robert Worley, if you want to be buried with all your stuff, that's that's your prerogative, you know. 
that is that is what you want to do if that's what you want to do. Um, I know it would cost a lot to get you buried with your stuff, though, because, heck, just, just a normal funeral is expensive for the one little area. You'd have to, bit, you know, dig a lot more area. Or get yourself one of those uh, crypts, you know, like a little tomb. You don't see a U-Haul behind a hearse, says Drew V. <laughs> All right, we got an interesting-looking edge. Hey, we got a first NIFC of the night. 2006 and this one is coming out of denver yes the great city of denver ladies and gentlemen <laughs> angry warrior says i want to be buried with all robert's stuff too uh in a cave there you go and then have the cave sealed off right Ravenhawk and everyone will be lurking. Have to start shipping. Uh, yeah, you've got a quite of a shipping thing to go on. What's up, Mad Stacker? How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. I uh, hope you're having a good day and a good, safe weekend. Good to see everybody in here. Big thank you again to Plumber Stacker for the $50 super chat. He is stream boss so far. And I, I have a feeling he'll probably stay stream boss. But it's very, very cool. If my pockets ain't filled with coins, I'm haunting someone, says Coinosaurus Rex. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Deborah Eubank, good to see Deborah here. And uh, if you're new into chat and you need some uh, relics, let us know. One of the mods can do an ad to your account because I like help helping you guys have a little something to play with. Uh, Mad Stacker's... Driving back from Florida to Texas. Mad Stacker, I didn't know you were in Texas, dude. I'm right right here up in Norman. I'm only a couple hours from, from Texas myself. Full push medals. What's up, brother? What's up? And like watching commercial number two, AG Price, the general, is in the house. What's going on, general? Holy cow, guys. We got 81 likes already. That is freaking awesome, guys. And... Uh, Wow, thank you so much for all the love. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. I saw my name here for a second. Where'd it go? Uh, Ike's Girl, I'm in either way. Poker is my game, but I may make another suggestion. Cap the raise to pot total. That way you don't get table bullies, say 10K in chips and a 2550 table. Um, hey, Ike's Girl, if you want, do me a favor. Can, if you email me with some parameters that you like, I will put it in. Uh, consideration to uh, doing something like that because yeah I'm kind of with you I don't like when you start off a tournament and somebody's like the all-in guy and somehow they just keep winning at all-in but others will say that's part of the game you know so we got to make sure we keep it fair but if you have any suggestions and stuff let me know you know I was up near you last weekend, Ravenhawk. My daughter is at Tinker. Nice, Mad Stacker. Well, Mad Stacker, one day we might have to hang out sometime. Christopher Sherman. Oh, hi. Quiet rolls so far. Well, we got one 40 percenter and one NIFC. Matter of fact, I forgot to update the NIFC, which I can do right now. I'm still getting used to this setup. <laughs> But yeah, we're in our first box. It is kind of quiet. Guys, C.M. Silver with a $20 Super Chat. And here we go, our Super Chat train. Choo-choo. <laughs> Thank you very much, C.M., brother. I appreciate that. You rock, bro. All right. Come on, Silver. Where are you at? And this first box is Mr. Dearborn's. Um, Dewey Cheatham, I haven't seen Dewey Cheatham in how they're, hey, Chris Nab, on the next box we do, I have a box that, there, there's two boxes, one of them, the, the end broke open, none of the rolls were broken open, but one of the end is open, and then we have a completely fully sealed box, which one do you want to do, Chris Nab, the sealed one or the one with the broken end? Deborah Walls, I'm doing very good. How you doing today? Hope you're having a good weekend. 
All right. Come on, Silver. Let's find you. What else is going on, guys? What else? Let's see. Oh, I've been watching the show uh, The Wire on HBO. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before, but it is a very entertaining, uh, like a like a mini series that they have on HBO, and it's uh, basically takes part in Baltimore, Maryland, and all the craziness that they went through in that city and still kind of go through today. You know, I'm in both, so have some else pick box number two. All right. Let me do that. Uh, Catfish Arg, we're completely sold out, my friend. Hey, Breeze for me. Miss, my, my friend Breeze. Uh, Breezy, do you want the open box or do you want the completely sealed box for the next uh, thing? I'm going to get a new sold out banner made. It's just uh, uh, Seeker only had so much time. Over 500, 500 boxes it has. I found... My first box, two Bicentennial servers in the same last night. Nice. Oh, you remind me, we're still looking for the magic coin for the Bill Gibson bounty. And you'll end up receiving a 1970 Denver in there. Uh, last show, Mad Stacker, we found a 1970 Denver in the box, my friend. Mick Nolte, yes, Bill Gibson. It's a great show. And Chris Nab, no problem, brother, no problem at all. So I'm, I'm waiting for Breezy to see what she says. She might have walked away for a second. Okay, she says sealed, so we will do it. Yeah, uh, 1970 Denver in the box, and that allowed us to finally give away one of the Bill Gibson bounty coins that we had had as a bounty for over a year. You know, so it was very cool to finally get rid of that one. Nancy Barber, the bag lady. How you doing, Nancy? Welcome to the show. And also, guys, I have a new channel for the songs. Um, if, if I can do it tonight, pull it off tonight, I will try to put out a song. Um, if not, tomorrow the latest, but... I have a new channel, and it's called Rockin' with Raven. Um, I don't have the, the, the link, though. But for everybody that likes the, the music and wants to hear the music, I have Rockin' with Raven coming soon. And what I'll do is I'll probably just post a, a community tab that has it in there, you know? And... and uh, Ringin' found a 70D once and gave it to someone in chat. You're a nice man, brother. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have Rockin' with Raven, where I do covers and music. And we're going to keep it as a totally separate channel. And I think, uh, think it'll be cool. Guys, if you are uh, not subscribed to Mad Stacker, go check him out. Canadian Ryan says, nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, guys, because I know people like the music but what I notice is by having it on this channel it messes up the way that the algorithm works for getting your videos out there uh, YouTube doesn't really want you to have that much of a mixed station which I understand you know they want consistency and whatnot you know um, it really really makes a difference you know Bill Paxton killed by the Terminator Aliens 2 and The Predator. Who else can pull that off? Hey, I like Bill Paxton. He was a great actor. And matter of fact, I loved his... Uh, he did a show called Big Love. And that's all about uh, the whole like Mormon uh, religion and stuff. And they talk about how they have kind of like their own little mafia and whatnot. I mean, it's pretty pretty cool. We got another NIFC. This is, I guess, the, the brother or sister to that one coming from Philly. So we're going to update the NISCs here. So we've got another find. And good to see everybody. Guys, we've got 90 likes in the chat already. Too awesome. You guys are amazing. I can't wait. Oh, carrot cake. <laughs> You've got me wanting carrot cake now, AG. And guys... Uh, AG Price has a benefit auction coming up here soon as well. 
make sure you check it out because you never ever know what's going to happen who's going to be there the last one was a lot of fun and uh we gave out some stuff what's up what's up oh guys hey let me see that thing look at this this is miss raven's banana chocolate chip nut bread I gotta see if I can. But doesn't that look delicious? Ah, oh, smells so good. It's kind of like a Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey, but mm -hmm. in a banana bread. Mm -hmm. She did that from scratch. She got some skills. You want to know a funny story, guys? I'll let you in on something. When I met Miss Raven, <laughs> she could not cook at all. And uh, I taught her how. And honestly, she's become a very good cook over the years. Oh, oh guys. <laughs> there's, a, there's another another story. So I'm at Miss Raven's house one day, and she wants to cook me chicken for dinner, right? And I'm sitting there just minding my own business, kind of watching TV. Next thing I hear... Turn around. There's a wall of flame from from a grease fire because she had managed to take completely frozen chicken breast and toss it into extremely hot, turned up to ten uh, cooking oil. And oh man, so lucky. But she she learned her lesson from that day, and she's she's done pretty well. She's learned how to cook a lot of cool stuff, and. Uh, like like the, the banana nut bread there. I don't make banana nut bread myself, but she's now doing banana nut bread with, with the chocolate. Okay, so I was wrong. I guess uh, AG's just doing weekly uh, auctions to basically what I was trying to get at for you guys, but he's adding on to there that... Uh, well, that's interesting. That looks like somebody was trying to make a ring out of that. You'll know because people pound the edges of them. You know, when you see a ring, that a coin that has a really weird flat belled out edge, you know. Ring and Constitutional says I can be your fireman. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, guys, Miss Miss Raven was dangerous back in the day with the with the the grease fire, and. Um, then there was another time that she wanted to put peas and carrots into my pasta. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> you know, peas and carrots? Fro you know, the frozen peas and carrots? Just, <laughs> uh, Too funny. Too funny, guys. Good to see Brian Smouse. Well, I'm... <clears throat> I'm a looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> uh oh, ringing constitutional singing hot blooded. Check it and see. Yeah, Canadian Ryan. She's hey guys. Oh no, I don't think this is a true clip. But look at that. I mean, I normally with a clipped planchet, it doesn't have that. I don't know, guys. I love pasta. Can't go wrong with pasta. I thought we had a clipped planchet here, but but it doesn't have the typical moon shape that you know. It's. I'll still let them have it. Well, in chicken pot pie, yes. <laughs> I agree. Uh, Caribbean, she she laughed. <laughs> Actually, 
actually, it's pretty, pretty close. I'm going to send it to him no matter what. Ike Girl sent an email. Thank you, Ike Girl. We'll get into it. Rob finds treasure. See to me right there, Rob. That's the thing that's tricky with Clip Planchet. Somebody can do it just right and fool you. I don't see, like, rubbing marks or grinding marks, really. You know? All righty. Yeah, if I go to the curve here, check it out, guys. Or we can put it on the scope that way, too. Let's take a look. Oops. There's a little bit of gap. It's not perfect, guys. But I don't know. It looks pretty, pretty cool. Package total. What's going on, my friend? Pizza and beer is happiness, says Crypto King. I like pizza, and I like beer. <laughs> I agree with you, my friend. I agree. Everybody, Rob finds treasure in the house. Phil the board is here. Rob, what do you think, man? Clip, clip, boom. Catman Duism thinks it's faked. To me, I think it is, too. It... it, it just seems just not perfect enough. There is a little bit of spacing. The rim, edge, and letters would fade. These aren't faded edges and or nothing. This is uh Well yeah, I think uh guys, I can feel a little Right on the back, a little bit of a ridge, guys. So I don't think it's a real one, but I'm still going to send it just because it's kind of cool to see the fake planchet, you know? Um, people people do weird stuff to stuff, you know? Hey, bro, sent you an email for you to look at later. Ringmaster Ray, we'll get to it, my friend. If I don't get to it this evening, I'll get to it uh, tomorrow for sure. Uh, because after the chat, we do our, or after tonight's show, we do dinner. And you just don't want to miss out, you know. Yeah, I don't think so either, the more I look at it. And it kind of bums me out. I thought we finally caught a cool find with a clip planchet, but no. Nah. If it was clipped properly, guys, there would be no space. Like, I wouldn't be able to really put movement like this rocking back and forth. It, it should fit like a perfect, you know. Opposite side would have a weak... Well, there's the opposite. I mean, it's not... That's... Yeah, see, that's... What year is this? It's an 82. 82's always had pretty bad strikes, you know? But hey, yeah, I don't think it's a clip, guys. Honestly, I don't. But I'm still just going to send it out so that nobody can turn around and go, well, you know, Raven. See, Rob even says not clipped fake. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm putting this back into circulation. Somebody else will find it one day. And we'll do it that way. But I got enough people agreeing with me, you know, because I, I remember that trick where it's supposed to the coin should lay perfect into that another coin that's why rob said to do that and i forgot about it until he mentioned it because the clipping is a perfect round clip you'd have a perfect crescent move divot and another coin would roll onto another coin that way yeah meat rat i really really you know it's it's the faker coins that really cause problems and you know there's people out there that like errors and varieties and so, you know, there's people that know how to mess with and manipulate coins to look like those errors and varieties sometimes. And, you know, that's just the nature of the beast, it seems. 
Raven Hog, just one more to keep in back of your mind. Maybe have the chips look like coins in the spirit of CRH, Morgan, Fake, Peaceside, Kennedy, etc. Ike's Girl, if they let me do that for the poker chips in the room, if I have a choice, I will totally do that. I think that's an awesome idea. Thank you. That would be really cool. Start it, you know, the dollar is the penny and whatnot. Good to see. Hey, Far North Coins. What's going on, Far North? Very, very cool, man. How you been? And guys, we're over 100 likes tonight already. Unbelievable. You guys are too freaking nice. I appreciate it. You know what we're going to do in just a second here for the awesomeness and getting past 100 likes, we're going to add something to the end of stream giveaway. So give me a second and we will do that. Rhonda Tolliver in the house singing happy birthday to you. Uh, Catfish Arg, we are going to be having a poker tournament, a Texas Hold'em and Omaha uh, poker tournament. And it's going to be via uh, Grizzman. Holy cow. Good to see you. It's going to be via Poker Stars. And we're going to have a kind of buy in thing. I'll have a bunch of stuff describing it soon. Guys, we got something here. We got something. Oh, no way. This is a... Wow, they fooled me good. They got some good paint, guys. Look at this. So this... I thought we had silver for a second. And that's usually hard to fool me. 73. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have a poker tournament to help out Teacher 1388. There is going to be either a silver or monetary donation. We'll have it all uh, hosted by Poker Stars. And whoever wins gets bragging rights, you know. And then we'll probably have some tournaments every once in a while, you know. I know, man. Fake clip, fake silver. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, killing me, Smalls. Killing me. Oh, you know what? We got to still add something to the end of stream, guys. I lied. I went into another roll because I was babbling. <coughs> so give me just a second here, and I will figure out something to add to the end of stream giveaway for reaching the 100 likes. Matter of fact, let's do two things to the end of stream giveaway. We're going to give away a Texas penny. If you've never seen one of these, they're pretty cool. This is courtesy of Bill Gibson. He is the man. And we're going to add a 40% 1968 to the end of stream. Plus, I'm going to throw on a large scent. And let's see here. I want to find a pretty cool one. How about 1938? is going to be the large penny that we put in there for the end of stream giveaway as well. So that's the end of stream giveaway so far, guys. Being added with more stuff. Thank you for all the love and support. We appreciate it. Catherine Lee went to the coin show today, found two Libertads in a junk box, were marked nine bucks a piece, and bought two coins, got half off, both were 1915, paid nine bucks for both. So fun. That's really cool, Catherine Lee, that you could get a Libertad for nine bucks. That's insane. Uh, the prices of Libertads have gotten pretty crazy. Who woo woo hoo says, ooh, a British penny. Yes, sir. Adding that to the mix. A British large penny. Come on, guys. This box started out nice. We had a silver ender. I thought we were gonna get more silver so far. We just have the one 40 percenter and three NIFCs. I need to update the NIFC thing. I'm still not used to having a, a counter that I can keep an update on, which is nice. All right. So let's get into the next row. Yeah, who plays poker? If, you're, if you like playing poker... Like Ike's Girl said, raise your hand. <laughs> Give us a number one. Fill the board. What up, Phil? 
How you doing, man? Ike's girl's got her hand up. Jack Covert putting up the lighter. I think that's a good that's a good indication Jack likes the uh the polka. Des Logic, what up my friend? Des Logic, new nor normally number one in the nest. Now he's like number 130. <laughs> Very cool. Um, I'm going to have some icons here in the next couple days. And uh, we're going to be, unfortunately, we're going to be taking away the Vicky C eyeball and a couple other things. And, uh, you know, I, I talked to Vicky the other day, and it's really, she's really not going to come back full swing. And so I think, you know, it's time to kind of retire, retire that because uh, it's just unfortunate. But. We're going to retire the Vicky C. Eyeball. And uh, came in from watching a movie. Nice. Guys, I think we got something good. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. Wow. Fooled again. Huh. It's a 72. That's weird because that's what I saw at first. And that isn't painted. That's a thing that's trippy. You just see it just has a really high uh, nickel line versus the copper because it's copper and nickel. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here I thought we were going to get some extra cool stuff from Mr. Dearborn. We've, you know, we've gotten some items. He's got some silver on the board, but man... I love Libertads. Libertads, I'm, matter of fact, I remember just not two years ago, a lot of people weren't collecting them. I could get them for a decent price, you know? Um, usually a little bit less than Silver Eagles and whatnot. Now they've just kind of gone gangbusters. What's up, Rockzilla? How you doing? It is warm out, guys. I can feel it. I can, I can feel it. <laughs> Yep, you got to tap them to see if they're not a 40% or planch it, that's for sure. Phil is, is, oh, it's Phil's birthday, guys. Happy birthday to Mr. Phil, the board. Happy birthday to you, hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Phil the board. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Rhonda Tolliver as well. Holy cow, everybody's birthday. So we got Rhonda Tolliver, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday, Rhonda Tolliver. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, Maria Cervantes. Yes, my friend, I am I am dying over here. I, I have my air conditioner at like 74 or whatever, but I have this window. Where I started opening up the blinds so that it can help. Well, when you open up the blinds, all of a sudden, shh, more heat comes through, you know? Des Logic says, go go large or go home. Guys, we got an 03 NIFC. Whoop, whoop. Got another find. So that's number four on the NIFCs. All right. All right. <laughs> You're very welcome, my friend. CM Silver says the heat index is over 110 where he's at. Wow. That's insane, brother. 110. I know it's hot when my when my air conditioner will not get the house cooler than 75, you know? It's, it's the one thing that I don't like about the house I live in is that it's an older house. It's the house is built really nice, but the air conditioner is old, old, old. So it does not cool off the place the way that it should, you know. But hopefully we get a little bit of a reprieve here. Lately at night, the temperature has been dropping quite a bit, which is a nice relief. You know, 109 in North Alabama, says Sea Weave. Wow. 109. I wonder... What's it say here? Oh, 
I don't see it. Oh, well. Uh, it's saying that it's 87 degrees out. That doesn't sound right. And hazy. <laughs> Any Cali people says Nova Sky. I used to live in California. I used to live there. Cervesis time says Ringmaster A. Time for some beer. Mad Stacker just got to the Texas border. Uh, Des Logic, yep, if you look in the... We found 140% or so far. This is the first box. This is uh, Mr. Dearborn. He had a silver ender. And the rest of the box has been just some NIFC action going on. We found a, a fake clipped planchet, a couple painted edges, you know. But yeah, I used to live in San Diego area. I, I, I miss Cali. It's a good place to live. All right, next roll, guys. We're almost to the end. Did anyone check his passport? Said Dan M. <laughs> Raven, make sure to return your return air filter is clean. Also, you can wash your air condensing unit outside with a garden hose. That definitely help your AC. Yeah, last night, <clears throat> yesterday, I, I hosed down the uh, <coughs> the AC, and we just put a brand new filter in. And when I hosed down the AC, you could you could definitely feel a difference in the house. Maybe I'll do that again after the show. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh... Marky e says, Mad Stacker, you're close to my house. Angry Warrior in... Bakersfield. Nice. Bunch of time in San Luis Obispo. Morro Bay is also... Yeah, Morro Bay is really cool. I like San Luis Obispo. Um, San Luis Obispo is really a really cool uh, school. They have um, a really nice agricultural college out there. And uh, UC San Luis Obispo. That's uh, inland and up north, guys. Dan M., I lived all over San Diego. I lived in North County, uh, Vista, Oceanside, Carlsbad, Escondido. Um, just all over the place, and I lived down down in San Diego proper before downtown. Um, lived in uh, by Balboa Park for a while, but yeah, I uh, spent a lot of time in San Diego. I hate when my nose gets itchy, guys, because my hands are so dirty and I can't touch them. Mira Mesa, nice Chula Vista, cool. <coughs> All right, guys, second to the last roll for Mr. Dearborn. I thought we were going to get more silver, seeing as how we had a silver ender. But, you know, sometimes just because you have one ender or even two, it doesn't mean you're going to get a bunch more, but you just never know. All right. Flying Dutchman, Gina R. What's going on, Gina? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good night. All right, last roll for Mr. Dearborn. Had a 92 in there. You know, those 90s, we always talk about it, how the 90s have a really good uh, strike to them. Very bold coin, you know. Bought a house in Santee a long time ago, though. Nice. I, I have friends in Santee. San, good old Santee. Ego. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get all the stuff ready for Mr. Dearborn here. He got a 40%er. What is this doing there? I don't know why there's a 74 in here. There is three NIFCs. My, my count on NIFCs is off, guys. I don't know why I had that there. Let's, uh, let's fix that. False advertisement. <laughs> all right, guys. So Mr. Dearborn's got seven ounces of silver plus all of his other goodies that he got in his pools. We're going to put those in a separate bag for him as well.
Been almost everywhere but California. Never had the desire, says Catherine Lee. Catherine Lee's a nice... Uh, Catherine Lee. Uh, California's a nice state. You know, it's the sunshine state. That You go there for the weather. That's for sure. Mr. Dearborn, thank you again. You rock, brother. Whew. All right, guys. Now we're into the sealed box here. Oh, wait. We got to do a giveaway, actually. We do a giveaway and do a really quick break. Because I'm going to go turn the air conditioner to even colder because I'm dying. Got a 1972 proof set, some stickers. And you know what, guys? Because we got some extra love, I'm going to throw a couple NIFCs into that giveaway. A 2019 and a 2010. Plus, I'm going to add a silver dime to this giveaway. We're going to give you a Merc. So let's do that. We'll do the giveaway. I'm going to take a few minute break real quick, like I said, to mess with the air conditioning. And then I need to use the facilities. And let me get this uh, giveaway started. This is giveaway box one. Alrighty. That is open right now, everybody. So good luck to you. All right, cool. So like I said, I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back. It'll just take me a minute or two. I'm trying to find my my will be back sign, but I think somebody stole it. You know, I don't get how stuff that I've, I need to use disappears, guys. But it does. All right. I'll be right back. Raven Hawk Coins, stay tuned. Boy, guys, we got a visit from Peppa. She said hello. <laughs> She's trying to look at you guys. Let me get the camera down just a little here. Hold on. All right, here we go. What you doing, puppies? What you doing? Huh? <laughs> He's saying hi. Do you know the camera's right there? It's right there. Look. I know. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. All right. I got to do the show. Okay, we'll see you in a little while. Thanks for coming, Peppa. All right, guys. We have a visit from the one and only Peppa. All right, let me get back in here. And we're going to grab the box. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. This thing is heavy. 
Alrighty. Whew. Let me get this giveaway out of the way. Put the box here. Nova says, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> John Pierce says, Peppa's stealing the show. Yeah, it was funny. I went back there and I was adjusting things. She runs up on me. You know, so. Ear, 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 ear. More Peppa. <laughs> John Pierce, I will try to have her come back before the end of the show, my friend. Peppa couldn't have been saved by a better person slash family. Peppa hit the lotto, says Michael Hargis. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that, man. We uh, we love Peppa to death, and she's a really, really good dog, guys. I mean, just all around, really sweet, really protective of the kids, which is important, you know? And I didn't have to teach her to be protective. She started that way herself, so. It's one of the reasons why I like pit bulls and uh, pit bull breeds. It's all in how they're raised, you know? All right, guys. First person up is Dewey. Cheat him and how. He had a $50 spot. $50 spot gets you an ounce of silver and a pull out of the Raven Relic bag. He's getting himself an LP, a large penny. So that is going into his stuff. Let me see. We're going to give him 1937. Hmm. You know what's weird? Rob comes and hangs out, and all of a sudden, I have a a little uh, fruit fly in the house. Mr. Dearborn, what's going on, brother? Guys, bad Danny with a $20 super chat. Holy cow, brother. Thank you very much. He said, beep, beep, peeps, what's up? Sorry I haven't been around. Received some disappointing news a couple months, and I just haven't been myself. I'm coming back, though, enough. And how is everybody else doing? Bad Danny, good to see you, brother, and I'm sorry... You're you're going through a hard time there, man. I really am. You know that we care about you a lot here, because uh, you're bad, Danny. All right, here we go. Two, four, six, and number seven. I don't see any obvious enders off the bat here, guys. But hey, you never know what'll happen, right? Never know. You'll never know. Boom, boom, boom. But thank you very much, my friend. Bad Danny. I've been wondering about you, brother. Really, actually, been worried about you. But, you know, I don't like to get too much into people's personal business unless they really want to say something, you know? <clears throat> hey, that's a good song, Ring, ring and Constitutional. Doom, 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 doom. Uptown got its hustlers. The Bow Ray's got its boss. A big Jim. Oh wait, Forty Second Street. They got Big Jim Milwaukee. He's a pool shooting son of a gun. Yeah, he's big and dumb as a man can come, but he's stronger than a country ox. And when the bad folks get all get together at night, you know they all call Big Jim boss just because. You know you don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the mask on a Olo range. You know you don't mess around with Jim. I like that song. <laughs> oh man. Sorry if I, I killed your ears, guys. But yeah, so if you guys like music. I have a different channel that we started, and I do some singing, and uh, it's called Rockin' with Raven, and uh, it's it's going to be launched here probably either tonight or tomorrow. I'll do a community tab uh, announcement with the link to the channel, and I'll, I'm going to do a song. I'm not sure what song I want to start off with, guys. What do you think is a good start off now the first time i ever did a song on raven hot coins i did uh the doors thank you ike's girl i really like that song you know i just love music and uh vt redneck we're gonna have some new commands here in the very near future my brother i was talking to uh 
Deburst 44, you're right. You cannot go wrong with Crochi. You cannot. If you're not a fan of Crochi, we can't be friends. <laughs> Riders on the storm. Ringing Constitution, no. <laughs> no way. Fill the board. Cool. Crafty Dragon says, any Jim Crochi's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Irish Collector. How you doing, Irish? Welcome to the show. It's Christmas 25th in July. Sing, sing jingle. Jingle bells. Batman smells. Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost a wheel and the Joker got away. Hey. <laughs> He's like, I tried. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll do you one favor. You can be like, ding, ding, ding. Hallelujah. It's a rainy man. <laughs> that's too funny guys you guys are unbelievable thank you for all the love all right let's see who the winner is in the midstream giveaway here we got in three two one savvy stacker you just won yourself a proof set a couple nifcs a merc some stickers absolutely free courtesy of raven hot coins raven hot coins all right, let's get this in here. And then you guys know that we have two more giveaways still to do, one after this box and then the Industream giveaway. The Industream giveaway has two special mint sets, 66 and 67, plus a 40 percenter, a large penny, and some other goodies. And again, Savvy Stacker, congratulations, my friend. Alrighty. Let me get back over to here. Turn our bot off. Boop. Boop. Big thank you to uh looks like right now that Bad Danny is the current stream boss, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how it changed that way, but it, it looks like it did. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's rain in silver, says Ring in Constitution. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. That was weird, guys. Did you see we had a huge bump? It went to like 160 people in chat, and then I lost like like a, like 60 people in 30 seconds. They probably heard me singing and went, ah, get away. <laughs> Savvy Stacker, can I send it to fill the board? I don't know. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> but now, hopefully, Phil is uh, still in the room. Let's see here. Oops. I just dropped my, my pin here. YouTube overlords. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. All right, so... All right, Savvy, thank you. Could have been, man. That song I do not know, Robert Worley. You, you, you stumped me on the song, you know. Look in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Raven Hawkorn. That is really, really weird, guys. And then, then it went from 99 to 81. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> I really turned off the chat, huh? All right. Let's see here. Hoping we find that magic coin soon, guys. Because if we find the magic coin, that'll mean that we finally found all of the Bill Gibson bounty coins. And we get to go from there, get some new stuff in the mix. All right, guys. That was Dewey Cheatham and Howe. We didn't get anything extra for him. But hopefully the next person does well. Next person up is the one, the only, Chris Nab. Chris Nab's in two separate spots. He's got four pulls total, so we'll get those out of the way. What's up, Budget Bullion? How you doing, my friend? Here we go. Gets himself a V-nickel and a wheat bushel. A Buffalo Soldier. And a large cent. All right, where did I put those large pennies?
Give it a 67. Okay, you gotta find the V cent. You need to look it up after you stream, you will laugh your butt off. Okay, I'll check it out. All right, so here we go. We got an 1898 V nickel and a 36 buff. What are we missing? The wheat bushel. Okay, here we go. Got a lot going on in here. <laughs> All right, very cool. Chris Nab, we're doing his pulls now. All right, so we got 14 rolls, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14. If you're new to the show and have never seen what we do, in a $50 spot, you get one ounce of silver and you get a pull from the Raven Relic bag. Uh, Chris bought $200, uh, $100 from two different boxes. So he gets his uh, four pulls for, you know, for that, four ounces, and then the 28 rolls. Whew, that was a lot to say all at once. All right, here we go. But yeah, guys, we're going to have the rocket. It's called Rockin' with Raven, and that'll be where uh, you can find any of the songs that I'm going to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do as the first song, but I'm going to figure something out, you know. Want to uh, make it fun. The first song I did on Raven Hot Coins way back was uh, by The Doors, which I'm a big, big fan of The Doors, you know. Really warm and going to have to do. All right, come on, silver. Where's the silver at? This is killing me, guys. We've only got one silver and three NIFCs so far. I mean, at least it's not a skunked night, but we love that silver, you know. Irish collector, how you doing, my friend? Hope you're having a good day. Sue Hatton, welcome to. The Raven Nation as a Golden Eagle. Holy cow. Sue Hatton, good to see you. Thank you for uh, joining the club and being a part of the Raven Nation. That is awesome. Too cool. Sue Hatton, welcome to the fam. Welcome to the nest. Some George Thorogood. I like George Thorogood. I drink alone. <laughs> oh wait, what's the one? De -nee 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 -nee. I'm a Dale's bone. The nurses all gather round. The hair nurse spoke up. Said leave this one alone. She could tell right away, De -nee 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 -nee, that I was bad to the bone. Bad. Bad to the bone. I broke a thousand hearts. Before I met you, I break a thousand more, baby, before I am through. I want to be yours, pretty baby. Holy cow, guys, I think, I think we have silver. It is, this is dirty, dirty. Let's see, it sounds like silver. It looks like silver, it sounds like silver. I see it, yep, it is a 60... It's a 64. We got a 90 percenter, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. No way. Woohoo! That is probably the ugliest 90 percent silver I've ever seen, guys. But look at that. I'm pretty sure it says 64. Yep, 1964, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know who uh, BJ Timas is. Dirty silver, still silver, baby. And a 90 percenter, guys. So let's update that. Oops. All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's what Thorogood does. It brings the silver, says Jim Thompson. What's the other one? I want bourbon. I want scotch. I want beer. Do, 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 do. 
<coughs> had a burned silver before. Need an Emerald Lagazi emoji when you hit BAM! <laughs> BAM! Yeah, that's awesome. The Drunken Scotsman. I don't know. I have to look that up too. You guys are you guys got songs. You know, here's the thing. I like a lot of bands and I like a lot of music. I know a lot of music, but I don't know it all. I am first to admit I I just I know what I know, you know. I'm not aware of too many things. I know what I know if you know what I mean. To do ya philosophy it's a walk on a slippery rock religion it's a lie and a fall i'm not aware of too many things i know what i know if you know what i mean i like that song too whiskey in a jar hooked on a feeling i like that song I had a burn finger once, but I never touched a flame again. <laughs> oh, you're funny, brother. Well, my Scotsman clad in kilt left before the bar one evening fair. And one could tell by the way he walked that he drunk more than his share. Ah. That might be fun to do. I also like no sleep till burn it. Bear, bear, bear near Brooklyn. <laughs> Oy. Oy. Ay, Dios mio. All right, guys. Come on. Where's the silver for Mr. Nab? We got one silver in there. The dirtiest silver we've ever seen. Brought to you by Dirty Dave's. All right. Talking about the ghetto, funky, funky ghetto, trying to survive, trying to stay alive in the ghetto, boom, 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 boom. the ghetto. Even though the streets are bumpy, lights burned out, dope fiends die with a pipe in their mouth. Old school buddies not doing it right and doing the same. It's the same every night. I like Free Fallen. Free Fallen's a good one. But I also like, well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You could stand me up at the gates of hell and I won't back down. Hey, Miss Coin Crew, how are you doing tonight? Hey, Mrs. Coin Crew, I saw Keith earlier, too. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. You guys are just too awesome, guys. We got 100 and something plus likes. You got almost 500 playbacks already. Cannot do bad. You could do the toast song. You never heard of the toast song. I do not know. Oh, wow. Check this out, guys. That's pretty slick looking. I'll put it under scope. If Chris wants to keep it, he can. It's a bicentennial. That That is interesting. It looks like somebody left a quarter sitting on it for quite a while. Maybe a dime. but Or a nickel. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably a nickel. But... That's pretty interesting. Jess Dreyer says, that's fun. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, guys. Come on. Let's get some silver. Box number two. We're almost halfway through. We got a, a end of box giveaway for a 94 proof set and some stickers. We might add a little something to that because, guys, tonight's Super Chats have just been unreal. You guys are amazing, and I really can't thank you enough. Right now, I think the current stream boss is a uh, ringing constitutional. Chris Nav says, I like it. It's interesting. Cool. I will keep it in your uh, your stack for you, bro. 
It'll go into your nest, and then we'll send it out. But I am happy to find a 90% silver, huh? Four chord song by Axis of Awesome. Nope, I have not heard that one. Good to see Full Push. Guys, if you don't know who Full Push Metals is, you got to check him out. He is the king of micro pours. You want something super small and tiny, or you need something polished, he is the master. That guy makes tiny little pours come to life and uh, really, really cool stuff. So check him out. He's Full Push Metals. Yeah, the, the Full Push... <laughs> Michael Hargis, that is very true. The Beatles, the Beatles, you know that Led Zeppelin, a lot of their songs were literally stolen uh, blues and jazz music. Uh, kicked up a little bit and sped up a little bit to be made into rock and roll. Budget sounds good, bro. I'll uh, check it out when I get a chance. Like I said, if I feel good enough after the stream, I'm going to uh, do a song for the new Rockin' with Raven channel that we're doing. That'll be where all the covers and stuff will be done. No more songs on Raven Hot Coins, guys, unless I sing something in chat with you. Um, Got to keep it good, you know? My favorite Guitar Hero song was Heart Shaped Box. Oh, I love that song. That's a good song. And, and you know what? This is a family show, so I can't I can't 100% explain to you what... I guess I could without using the wrong words, but let's just say Kurt Cobain wrote that song based on a specific piece of anatomy of Courtney Love. Uh, you know, Michael Hargis, they were just there first. They were able to do a lot of simple stuff, you know, and... and it's hard to hate a song like Love Me Do. Whoa, love me do. Someone to hold. Somebody new. Someone to love. Someone like you. Bump, bump. Love, love me do. Yep. You know, there's a lot of good stuff out there, you know. Dream Theater. Yeah, I've heard of Dream Theater. Chris Nab, part one. We got you the 90 percenter as well. Hopefully, you do really good. But one of my favorites is, uh, you know, Come Together by the Beatles. All right, guys. Up next is the one, the only gorgeous lady herself. Breeze for me. Here we go. Uh, Michael, no, I didn't take it that you were doing that, bro. I think you're you're doing fine, man. The way that you're talking is no no problem at all. You know. Hey Jude, that's a great song. Hey Jude is a really good song about change and understanding. You know, um, that song was sung to John Lennon's son Jude. Uh, they call him. Julian Lennon, and so you would call him Jude as a sh for short. All right, so Breeze for me got a 40 percenter, and we're getting into the rolls. Hopefully, find some good stuff here. <laughs> Ringmaster Ray, push it, I push it real good. Baby, baby, get up on this. <laughs> hey, ah, push it. <laughs> Kurt Cobain, Nirvana's frontman singer, author, claimed that this song was inspired by a television report of children suffering from cancer. That's weird, Fred Freer, because I heard a thing that said that he did the heart-shaped box thing based on, uh, well, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Janis Joplin is great, guys. Great, great, great musician. But I was, I was under the impression that that's what it was, but hey. I could be wrong. I may be right. You may be crazy. But it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. If you see a painted sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the... 
You got to do it. You started. You got to go. Love Shack. Love Shack. Yeah, yeah. I'm headed down the Atlanta Highway. Looking for that love getaway. Headed for the love getaway. I told him about it, that it's going to be soon. Okay. I got me a Chrysler as big as a whale, and it's headed on down to the love shack. I got me a Chrysler, it seats about 20, so hurry up and bring your jukebox money. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I know I tried to get her to do it. T roof rested. <laughs> Woo! You know what? One of my favorite favorite songs is out there. And it's an it's a rap song, and it's uh, by Macklemore. It's called Thrift Shop. That song cracks me up. You know, he's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Guys talking about rocking secondhand clothes from the strip shop. You know, it's good stuff. Ooh, Radio Creep is a good song. Well, I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I'm losing people though. I shouldn't I shouldn't be singing on the live stream, guys. <laughs> Talk about things and nobody cares. Wearing other things and nobody wears. Beep, beep by my sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got $20 in my pocket. I'm, I'm, I'm hunting. Looking for a come up. This is awesome. Walk into the club like, what up? I got a big... I'm just pumped by some stuff I got from the thrift shop. Ice on the fringe is so damn foxy. People be like, damn, that's a cold ass honky. <laughs> hey, where it's at? I got two turntables and a microphone. Where it's at? I got two turntables and a microphone. <laughs> Guys, we got another subscriber to the channel. Thank you for being a part of the show. I do appreciate you very much, guys. Opus Singer, got to throw in my vote for Warren Haynes, Almond Brothers, and Government Mule, one of the best live players out there. Government Mule, I actually knew them when they first uh, got together in Southern California. They hung out with friends of mine, and uh, they're good dudes come a long way if it's the same government mule band that i'm thinking of i also used to know the guys from pepper i i knew the drummer guys i think oh man i thought we had something good there for a second but i was wrong ah what was wrong raven takes yep 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 Another one of my favorites is uh, is uh, The Cult. The Cult is a great band, ladies and gentlemen. If you like a little bit of a hard rock music, go, go check them out. Oh, The Werewolves of London. That's a great song. All right, guys, up next is the one and only C.M. Silver. He has three spots for 21 rolls, so we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. 21 rolls for Mr. C.M. Silver. Robert Worley, don't mind if I drop a Robert, I don't care if you put in a link to your channel, guy. That's fine. Um, we owe three pulls to Mr. CM. Rock and Robin. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Go rock and robin, cause you're really gonna rock tonight. He rocks in the treetop all the day long. Hopping and a bopping and singing his song. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we got a buff, a wheat, and a silver dime. Watch a little Robin go tweet, 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 rock and Robin. Tweet, 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 rock and Robin. Tweetly, go rock and Robin, because you're really going to rock tonight. All right. There we go for Mr. CM Silva. <laughs> Bankroll Freddy, the beginning cracks me up. He says, I'll have to check it out. Rockin' Raven. Caw, caw, caw. <laughs> Rockin' Raven. Caw, 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 caw. <laughs> she blinded me with science. She blinded me with science. Uh, ooh, ooh. She blinded me with science. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, poetry in motion. When she turned her eyes to me, as deep as any ocean, something, don't know what else to say. I don't know what Baby Shark is. Is that the one that goes, is that the one? And then I probably have heard it before. She blinded me with science. E ooh, ooh. She blinded me with science. Hey, guys, I'll tell you what. Let me know if you guys can answer this quiz question, this piece of rock and roll history. You tell me the first video on MTV that aired the very you know first premiere video. I'll throw in a 40% silver 1968. <coughs> the muscat at work got stuck in the rain fade mode, kept repeating the same one hour, nine minutes, 37 seconds over and over, would cut out in and car wash and back and since you've been gone. Oh, weird. Five finger death punch. I like five finger death punch. Uh, woo, woo hoo. Got it right, guys. Video killed the radio star. In my mind and in my car. Blah, 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 blah. All right, guys. So we added a 40 percenter in the end there. <coughs> you guys know pretty well. Nope. It was Video Kill the Radio Star. They were the very first song. I don't even remember the name of the band. But I remember the, the song name. You know, which is funny. Kind of funny like that. We did the mash. It was a graveyard smash. We did the monster mash. Wahoo. And a dupe. Wahoo. <laughs> I remember the monster mash. Surfer, surfer's like, I had no clue. Dixie's Midnight Runners, they did a come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear everything. The Buggles was their name. Okay, cool. That's a weird name for a group. The Buggles? Or is that the Bugles? The Buggles? The, yeah. Huh. That is strange. Yeah, guys. Um, I'm kind of funny when it comes to music. I, I know a lot. Oh, I like Cars. Cars is a great group, man. Somehow, when you're curious, I'll be back around. And I think that you're wild. Son. Hey, here we got another one of those trippy-looking coins. Check this out, guys. I don't know if CM Silver wants it, but if he does, I will definitely let him have it. Some Billy Idol. <clears throat> ding, 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 ding. That forty percenter was to to give uh, to the chat as a bonus. Um, hey, little sister, what have you done? Hey, little sister, who's the only one? 
I've been away for so long. I let you go for so long. Well, it's a nice day to start again. Come on, it's a nice day for white wedding. It's a nice day to start again. Wow. Thank you for helping out, teacher. Yesterday says Fred Freer. No problem, brother. And I remember. I remember. Um, the Adams. Did it did it. They're creepy and they're kooky. They're also ever spooky. They're also ever kooky. The Adams family. Do 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 do. I know, I know a good part of that. Rock the cradle of love. Come on. Sent from heaven above. That's right. She rocked the cradle of love. I need to do that song. That'll be a fun one here. Ain't found a way to kill me yet. Burn, burn, burn. Eyes burn with sting and sweat. Seems every path leads me to nowhere. Mm. Got my pills against mosquito death. My buddy's breathing his dying breath. Oh, God, please, won't you help me make it through? Okay, ringing constitutional. And all I wanted was a Pepsi. And she just wouldn't give giving it to me. Just one Pepsi. Institutionalized. You're not crazy. Institutionalized. You're the one that's crazy. Institutionalized. They're the ones that's crazy. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. Like a stone. That's a great one, guys. Ding, doom. Boom, boom. All the fun. Afternoon in a room full of emptiness by a freeway. I confess I was lost in the pages of a book full of death. Reading how we'll die alone and if we're good, we're laid to rest. Yep. <laughs> Oh, man. I need to... I'm like a human juice box. I only want to be with you. There you go, Scott Thacker. There's your hootie. <laughs> Catherine Lee. Thanks, J-Mac. Or 67 J-Mac. I appreciate it. We need more cowbell. I reckon that Kennedy had a sticker on it for a long time. Or something. Something was there. That's the second one like that that we found tonight. I have Elvis on vinyl. I do have some Elvis. The one headlight. And it on. Seems just like a beat up truck. Turn the engine, but the engine doesn't turn. Thriller. Yes, that was the best part. Wrapped inside a corpse shell. <laughs> I can't walk out because I love you too much, baby. Why can't you see what you're doing to me when you don't believe the words I say? Oh, we can go on together with suspicious minds. And we can build our dreams on suspicious minds. So if an old friend I know stops to buy to say hello, will I still see suspicion in your eyes? Woo! You, Opus Singer, we're supposed to do some some stuff together. I just haven't done it yet. K 
Katie Bailey says, On a dark desert highway, a cool wind in my hair, warm smell of Kalithas. Here's the problem with that group. They block everything. Strawberry feels forever. <laughs> Oi. Oi, como va? Ritmo bueno sobre ta. Boop not. Oye, como va? Ritmo. There was another song I saw somebody do just a second ago that I really liked that they mentioned that I was surprised to see in here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, Crash Just Dummies, yes. Once there was this kid who. Got into an accident and couldn't go to school, but a win. They finally came back. His hair had turned from black into bright white. <laughs> oh, man. They said it's from the cow. Smacked him so hard. <laughs> what? we've got here is f failure to communicate you see some man you just can't reach you'll get what we have here last week which is the way he wants well he gets it i don't like it any more than you man <whistles> look at your women fighting Look at you, women die, people dying. Uh, the way they've always done before. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, Cool Hand Luke was a great movie. That is for sure. Um, and they also use that as the intro to the song Civil War by Guns N' Roses. But if you have not seen Cool Hand Luke, you gotta do it. Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. No, we gonna eat it, eat it. Has some more custard, or has some more ham. <laughs> I forgot the words of that one. Just eat it, eat it, eat it. Do, do, do. I want a long, cool woman in a black dress just to bind that beautiful song. <laughs> ho 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 Go long rain around a man A temperature starting to rise She was a long cool woman in a black dress I like that song <laughs> Gonna find my baby Gonna hold her tight Gonna have a little afternoon delight my motto's always been, when it's right, it's right. Why wait until the middle of a cold, dark night? When everything's a little clearer in the light of day. And we know the night is always going to be there anyway. Rubbing sticks and stones together, working up an appetite. <laughs> oh, man. I'm I'm like a freaking jukebox. Oi, oi, oi! I'm giving all she's got, Captain. <laughs> peaches, millions of peaches, p -p 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 peaches for free, p -p 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 millions of peaches. Peaches for me. BJ Thomas has done somebody wrong. Oh, another somebody done somebody wrong song. They make you feel at home when I miss my baby. I said, hey, won't you play a Mr. Mud Swat? How you doing, buddy? We found some silver, yay, just one 90 percenter and a 40 percenter. <laughs> 
Sticks. Stick, stick, sticks. Um, roly poly fish heads. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, God, I'm trying to think of one that sticks does. Oh, uh, Nova's like. Ball with the ball, the bang a dang dang, diggy 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 diggy, sit up, jump the boogie. Ball with the ball, the bang a dang, diggy 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 diggy, sit up, jump the boogie. Ball with the ball, the bang a dang a dang, diggy diggy diggy, sit up, jump the boogie. My name is Kid. Oh wait, my name is Raven Hawk. <laughs> Now this is for the questions that well, this is for the questions that don't have any answers. The midnight glances and the topless dances, the pounds of time all packed with speakers. The freaks with the forties and the, wait, the G's with the forties and the chicks with beepers. The northern lights and the southern comfort, and it don't even matter if your bangs are punctured. All the crackheads, the credits, the cynics, and all my heroes in the methadone clinics. No, I've never heard that song before. <laughs> Oh, domo origato, Mr. Ribato, domo, domo, domo origato, Mr. Ribato, domo. All right. Mr. CM Silver Brother, I wish we'd have found you some uh, some extra goodies. I'm going to throw in this little weird one. If you don't want it, just spend it, my friend. The chat is more fun than cake, says Opus. <laughs> Nice. Let's see here if I can find another song here. Uh, Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. That is, uh, whatchamacallit, that is Limp Biscuit. Jumping on stage like a bunch of wounded ducks. <laughs> All right, guys, up next, um, we got to do a giveaway. All right, here we go. Box number two, Industream Giveaway. We're going to add a couple NIFCs to the action. A big thank you to the one and only Flying Dutchman for adding the cool stuff to the, the NIFCs we have here. The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, I don't know that one very... Like, I've seen it, but I don't really know the song. Foreigner, 103 Degrees. I don't know that one either. But CM Silver, smoke on the water and fire in the skies. I love that song. All right, let's do the giveaway, guys. Give me just a second here. This is box two giveaway. And I'm not going to turn on the bot on the screen, guys. I know you guys will get, get your entries in. And uh, we're going to get into the next and last box. Ooh, I like Harry Chapin. Gordon Lightfoot is a very good, very, very good one. Is the one is a... Oh, what is that? That song. I can't believe I can, I'm getting stumped on him, but there's something gathering here or happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. Young people taking their mind. Ooh, guys, I'm a. I almost caused a huge pile up here of stuff. I've got my headphone cord mixed into my keyboard cord here. That was almost gonna get ugly. All right, let me get this out of the way. Everybody look what's going down. Oh, Michael Hargis, hold on a second. <clears throat> well, I tried to make it Sunday, but I got so dang depressed that I set my sights on Monday. And I got myself undressed. I ain't ready for the altar. But I do agree there's times that a woman sure can be a friend of mine. Yes, I like that song. The Sundown. 
Okay, guys, this box had some issues. It was looks like it was dropped at some time. So I need to fix the rows up for it and everything. This had the broken side piece already. And uh, totally, totally pain. Hold on. That is a good song. L&W is uh, doing the song Hurt that was covered by Johnny Cash and is originally a Nine Inch Nails song. And for you people that have never heard of Nine Inch Nails, Nine Inch Nails were the length of the nails that were driven into the hands of Jesus when he was crucified on the cross. So that's where the name of that band comes from. All right. <laughs> Ringing. Lightning crashes and no mother dies. I'm not a big fan of them. All right, guys. Up next is Ringing Constitutional. Ooh, I love November Rain is a great song. I fell into a burning ring of fire. It went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. That taste Four, six, eight, ten. of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. Bound by one desire, I fell into a, a ring of fire. <coughs> we got a buffalo and a 40 percenter going to the one and only Ringen Constitutionnel. Where did it go? There you go. Mm -hmm. 1936. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you could read my mind. <laughs> okay. Surfer, surfer. Something done to done in addition. Pour myself a cup of ambition in a boss. I need something blah, 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 to five. Do you work in nine to five? What a way to make a living. <laughs> Don't forget to come see Opus Singer in Tahoe. I'll buy you a drink if you mention Raven Hot Coins. Thank you, Opus. Train, train. Drop. Wait. Guess who's back in the atmosphere with drops of Jupiter in her head? Now tell me. I don't know all the words, but I did the song before, and it's a really fun one. Too bad I can't remember them. <laughs> Alrighty, come on, Silver. Come on, Silver, Silver, Silver. Oh, the Carpenters are a great group, you know? I do not know Robin Trower. Karen Carpenter's voice was unbelievable, guys. Like her when I hear her voice, I stop and I, I listen. She was a very, very unfortunate uh she had body dysmorphia issues and unfortunately basically starved herself to death, you know. <laughs> Uncle Cracker <laughs> I'm singing. Follow me, baby, and it's all right. I'll be the meaning of you in that night. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me. Uh, give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. And give me one reason to stay here. And I'll turn my back around. Said I don't want to leave you lonely. 
You gotta make me change my mind. My loving arms can hold you. Oh, and rock you through the night. <laughs> Yeah, Karen Carpenter's story was very sad. One of my favorite songs of all time, and I'm not a big fan of The Grateful Dead, but if you have not uh, heard it, check out the song called Ripple. It's a great, great song. Fat Boy Slim, Weapon of Choice. I think he finally got me stumped, my friend. I mean, I know Fat Boy Slim, but I, I just don't really know their music that well. You know, it's just uh, just different. It is. It's sad. It'd have been and it's very sweet. Oh, been up, been up, been up, I'm on my feet. Take me back to the river, baby, on your show. I'll be coming back, baby, baby, be coming back for more. <laughs> <clears throat> Bad company. I like them. Baby, when I think about you, I think about love. Darling, I can't live without you. I live in your love. And if I had them golden dreams about my yesterday, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Billy Joel. Billy Joel is great, man. Great, great musician, you know. Don't go changing in times of trouble. You never had to work that hard. Mm -hmm. I just want someone that I can talk to. I want you just the way you are. Thank you for taking care of things, my friend. Yeah, Crafty Dragon, Billy Joel. And Billy Joel has songs that some people don't even realize are his. Like he did that song, Pressure. Beep, 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 Pressure. One, two, three, four, pressure. Yeah, he's a, he's pretty, pretty good, man. Okay. On a Tuesday, sure. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, mark your calendars. Can you bring that back up? Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, not quite sure. I know their music if I hear it. But we're announcing, guys, Tuesday, September the 7th, is going to be a sub and mod giveaway night. All giveaways, all night. So, Tuesday, the September the 7th, guys. And Billy Joel wrote a, wrote a lot of music, too. Ron Cleaver, I love the Eagles, man. Um, but they're one of those groups that when you sing any of their stuff, they try to block you and get you, you know, hit for a copyright. And, uh, you know. All right, stop. Because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. I look funny. But yo, I'm making money, see? So yo, world, I hope you're ready for me. Now gather round, because I'm the new fool in town, and my sound's laid down by the underground. You thought you'd, you'd get me, Jack? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Ooh, I like Chicago. As I was walking down the street one day. You know? Uh, does anybody real old know what time it is? Can't be there unless you make me a mod. Huh? What are you talking about, Ike's girl? Ike's girl, you want to be a mod? Here. I've got a thousand other moderators, but there you go, my friend. You're in the mix. Uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Bing, 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 bing. Keep them doggies rolling raw high. Rain and wind and weather. Hell bound for leather. Wishing my girl was by my side. All the things I'm missing. Good vittles, love, and kissing. We're waiting for the end of my ride. 
Hit them on, move them out, hit them on, move them out, hit them on, move them out, raw hide. Rat them in, rat them in, get them out, rat them in. Rat them in, raw hide. Ding a ling or baby, let me bag your box. No, I don't know those ones, but I'll have to check it out. We're on a mission from God. Yes, and that's where I learned that song was that movie. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, we will pick the winner after I look through this roll right here. Bulls on parade. Bulls on parade. Bulls on Parade, that is uh, Rage Against the Machine. Fleetwood Mac, I love some old Fleetwood Mac. Um, you know? Wrap around your fingers. Have you any dreams you'd love to sell? Dreams of loneliness like a heartbeat drives you mad. In the stillness of your memories, the ones you had, me, the ones you lost, the ones you had, ooh, and ones you lost. Oh, thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. All right, here we go. Winner, three, two, one. Psh, psh, psh. Mario Cervantes. You are the winner. Winner chicken dinner. Oh, a mint set, a couple NIFCs, and some Raven Hawk coin stickers. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Holy cow. I got a... I got one of my long hairs stuck to the halves. All right, let me put this in here for Maria. One of my favorite songs, guys, to cover is by Black Sabbath, of all groups. And it's called War Pigs. That is a fun song to do. Get this thing in here. All right. Making me sing too much, says Crafty Dragon. <laughs> so the one that I like, if you've never heard War Pigs, you should check out the lyrics because it's very true about our world and things that happen. You know, with politicians and stuff sending everybody else off to war. It's just sad sometimes. So this is Maria Cervantes. Congratulations to Maria. Paranoid, that's a great song, but <clears throat> I I'm telling you, you can do it. You gotta you gotta really put it out there. You gotta be generals gathered in their masses. Just like witches at black masses. What up, Moneda Republic? Como estas, amigo? I can't talk like Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy. <laughs> Just another brick in the wall. Do, 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 do. Hey! Teacher, lead them kids alone. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh, <clears throat> he's going the distance. He's going for speed. He's all alone. We found a 2009 NIFC. Because <laughs> he's racing and chasing and plotting the course. He's riding and driving and plotting on the horse. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. He's all alone, all alone in a time of need. Yeah, guys, I have a curse. I'm telling you, music, I memorize it, and it can get to me sometimes. Sometimes it really, really irritates me. 
Poison. Poison in my veins. Your lips are filled with poison. <laughs> That's all I know from them. Or uh, he did. Didn't he do another song though about kids going to school or something like that? I forget. All right, guys. Up next, Tiberius Maximus Hitmanimus, the man, the myth, the legend, up for a $50 spot. Here we go. I threw it down. What is it? It's a Lil LP. A Larry pa We're giving away Larry Pals today. <laughs> Poison Ivy. That's the song, yeah. Here we go. Ha, she's only 17, 17, oh, she do me love like i never seen. <laughs> oh, that's it. School's out for summer. School's out for ever. <laughs> I wish I knew lyrics like you, Raven. You're great, brother. Thank you, Juan. I appreciate it. We got Juan and Juan Ramirez. Oh, it's Peppa. Hi, Peppa. Oh, hi, puppy. Oh, boy. You know what? We need to get you a little stool like that, that people can see you better. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me get this this fixed a little bit. Come here. Uh-oh. We got, we got half dollars flying everywhere. We have one explosion everywhere. Oh, Peppa, Peppa has left the building. <laughs> Peppa, come, here. come here, Peppa. Oh. oh, my God, no way. That is... Hold on. No. It's a little... Okay, there you go. Ow. Oh, dude. Did I scrape it? You cut me. What? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to bleed, but it definitely cut the skin. Ow. I'm sorry. I see how it is, Miss Raven. Hey. Miss Raven's over here trying to kill me, guys. Peppa. Peppa. Come here. Come here, girl. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, boy. Well, could you say hi? <laughs> Ow, you're so silly. Oh, Peppa, that's my water. All right, you know what? Come here. Come on, girl. Oh, oh now you're too cool. Now you're too cool. Go on. All right, go ahead. Peppa's... Peppa's having her own fun, guys. Whew, all right. <laughs> yeah, she's spoiled, guys. She's a good dog, though. But, but guys, there's half dollars everywhere. The box broke. And me and Miss Raymond were trying to figure a way to make it not break completely. <laughs> Thank you, Juan. I appreciate it. Nova says, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, Peppa's a good dog. She's really smart. She's really smart, really loving, very loyal. Whew, guys, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Box number three, when we get to the end, we have a really cool end of stream giveaway to do. Very stoked. But yeah, a cat would not have a chance. But you know what? Some cats are pretty, pretty gnarly. You can't, you can't really uh, count them out when it comes to them fighting. You know, it's Peppa world, Peppa's world, and you're just living in it, Raven. No doubt, <laughs> no doubt, Mustang Dave. Peppa rules the house, and she does this thing. You know, we have. I don't know if you guys have storm doors where you live, but we have a glass door for instead of a screen door for a, what they call a storm door, right? I could see you doing what's going on. Oh, what's going on? And I say, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, oh, what's going on? Right? I would love to rest me another pit bull. The one I have, she is a great dog. Yes, VTR Redneck, they are awesome dogs. Guys, we got a 2006 NIFC in the mix. Boy, this has been a, a slow silver night. Only one of each type.
I don't even know what you're talking about, LNW, but let me know. Yeah, I liked Four Nine Blondes. Matter of fact, guys, Four Nine Four Nine Blondes is responsible for that girl named Pink. They brought her into uh, the music industry, from what I understand. I watched a uh, a video, uh, an interview, and the lady that's the head of Four Nine Blondes was actually she's actually a producer, you know. Um, and when they did the Four Nine Blondes song, it's, it's a really good song. You know, he's like, I realized quickly that I knew I should, that this world was made of this brotherhood of man. For whatever that means. To it and wake some morning, then I'm lying in bed, and I take a deep breath, and I get missing. And I get real high, and I say, What's going on? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> all right. Live and let die. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, 1964. Right when we said, Live and let die. What does it matter to you? If you got a job to do, you got to do it well. You got to give the other fella help. <laughs> Very cool, guys. Very cool. Some silver for Ty Hitman. And I think he's got... Guys, we got a proof. Ha <laughs> ha. It's been a while. And we can't handle the proof. But we're going to put this one in a baggie to keep it safe. Because it's, it's got a little bit of, of go around time. 1978S, guys. And we will put that as miscellaneous. And we filled the board. Look at that, guys. We filled the board. All right. So for filling the board, what are we going to do? What do you do? Um, hmm. For the fill the board, guys, I am going to add a bag of Raven Wheat Bushel to the end of stream, guys. And those of you that have been with the show know that we found a 1913... Wheat the other day, an S, which was a semi-key date in the wheats. And we gave it away because it was sitting on the top of the bag. Couldn't believe what we found, you know. Boomski Baby Woot Singing Works. I know, in one roll, huh, Ike's girl? Fill the board complete. Trevor Pinkston says, nice. Filled the board. Boom. Drag through the witches and burn through the witches and drag to the back of my Dragula. <laughs> I'm trying to do the way he does that song. It's burn through the ditches and burn through the witches and slam through the back of my Dragula. <laughs> Guys, holy crow. Check this out. It's the Bill Gibson bounty coin. <laughs> this is from when, unfortunately, I used to be a bad guy and write things on the coins. So we got back a Bill Gibson half. And I'm going to put that on the desk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that because Bill Gibson is a good dude. Unless Ty Hitman wants it. If Ty Hitman wants the Bill Gibson half dollar, I'll let him have it. Richard Sappington, I like I like him too. I like uh Silver Shocker, yep, early enough it was White Zombie. That's true, it might be White Zombie versus just Rob Zombie. Dig through the ditches and burn through the witches and slam in the back of my Dragula. Inch, 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 inch,
That's a two time stream coin. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Ty Hitman. I'm going to give Ty Hitman the Bill Gibson half, guys. I think he'll uh, he'll give it a good home. Nibble on sponge cake. Watching the sun bake. All of those tourists that cover with oil. Strumming my six string. On my front porch swing. Smelling the shrimp there beginning to boil. Wasting away again in Chris Nabville. <laughs> Searching for some, some silver for Chris. Oh, wow. Ty Hitman, I almost ripped you off of a 90 percenter. That would have been horrible. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I know it's nobody's fault. Baby, here I am. I'm a man on the scene. I can give you what you want, but you got to come home with me. I still got some good old love, and then I got some more in stow. Coins making sense. So far, we've had two 90 percenters, one 40 percenter, five NISCs, and a proof. Dumb love my things are done by the dozen. That ain't nothing but ten cent love. Hey, little thing, let me light your candle, cause I'm on my arm so hard in it now. Hold on. Chris Nab. So, two, four, wait, two, four, six, seven. Yes, you're right. Thank you for catching that, Matt D. You rock, brother. Thank you very, very much, bro. Like, seriously, I'm glad you caught that because I would have felt really bad. I do not want to short anybody, and especially Mr. Nab. Baby, come back. I don't want to lose your head. There was something in everything about you. Do, do, do. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Said bye-bye, Miss American Pie. Drove the Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye. Singing, this'll be the day that I die. And this'll be the day that I die. Did you write the book of love and do you have faith in God above? If the Bible tells you so. And do you believe in rock and roll? Can music save your mortal soul? And can you teach me how to dance real slow? Well, I know that you're in love with him because I saw you dancing in the gym. Yep, never heard of it. <laughs> Here's my best Eddie Murphy laugh, guys. A <laughs> guy, I can't do it now. I usually can do it pretty good. <laughs> oh, well. Aqualung in the shuffling madness, do do do, running all time dead, running all time losing, baby I'm always dead. Oh, he running down the corridor, rambling on his brow, dancing, 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 and the train it won't stop going, no, it won't slow down. The flute solo. <laughs> One of my favorite. And here's a, here's a song that you guys should look up because it actually originated as a speech. Oh, wow. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Ooh, 
that you want and how I knew about your plans to make it through with some other guy that you knew before. To all those guys, you know I loved you more. It took me by surprise, I must say, when I found out yesterday. Ooh, I made it through the grapevine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be a Jedi. Weird Al, that's awesome. Um, but this one is Bob Marley. The speech was written by Haile Selassie I, the last king of Jamaica. And it's called War. Um, you should look it up because it still pretty much holds true to today. You can change a couple of the words around to make it fit perfectly to what's happening in the world. But, you know, it starts off, it's until the philosophy which hold one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned. Well, everywhere is war. Wall. I heard it through the grapevine. That you rock, bro. Thank you, Cody Amons. <laughs> that until basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all without regard to race. A dis at war. But yeah, you got to look that one up, guys. It's pretty interesting. It's a very powerful song. Knights of Sidonia. Muse. I've heard that, that song. It has like a kind of beat to it, if I remember correctly. And kind of futuristic. Almost sounds like the final countdown. <laughs> oh, you know, I used to drive my, my manager nuts when I was a kid at this store I worked at. I would go around making trumpet noises, and he couldn't find it. And so, you know, and there's a song that was out called Bitty Bitty Bop. Funk it, funk it. It was a. Uh, and, and it had. I used to be able to do it better. Europe, yep, it's a final kill. Yeah. 67 J Mac. You're able to buy rolls in advance. Our next coin roll hunt is Sunday. Thursday is our auction. So we have a coin roll hunt once a week for three boxes on Sundays. And then on Thursday nights, we do an auction as well. If you want to buy some rolls right now, you're more than welcome to. There's a spreadsheet. Um, if one of the mods, if you guys could please uh, drop a link to the spreadsheet so that he can see what I'm talking about. You can click on the tabs and see who's already bought stuff, you know. Mustang Sally, better slow your Mustang down. I know that song. I know that song. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Dwayne, what up, Dwayne? How you doing? Bring Sally up, bring Sally down. V nickels or barber quarters in the next auction? I don't know, Alistair. Haven't uh haven't decided yet. But uh are you asking for some? Wolfie Olin, what's going on? This one's for AG47. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. The one an itty bitty waist. Oh, wait. With a girl with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Want to pull up and tuck because you notice that butt was stuck. Keeps in the G she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh, baby, I want to get with you and take your picture. My homeboys tried to warn me, but that butt you got makes me so horny Ooh, rump of smooth skin you say you want to get my bins well use me use me because you ain't that average groupie i see them dancing to hell with romancing make sweat wet got it going like a turbo vet 
Say flat, but I'm tired of magazines saying flat butts are the thing. <laughs> you don't have to be that when I rip it back. She got to have much back. So, fellas, yeah, fellas, yeah. Yep, I kind of know that one. I kind of know that one. I like silver halves and you can't, clads can't, not, and you, <laughs> all you clad halves can't deny. That's funny. Good old Sir Mix a lot. Yet. <clears throat> My posse's on Broadway. <clears throat> Me and Kid Sensation, that home away from home in the Black Bins limo with the cellular phone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I did it. I did my Eddie Murphy laugh the right way. <laughs> oh, man. Mama Mia, Mama Mia, let me go. Beelzebub has a devil for a son for me. For me. For me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna pop some tags. I got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I'm a pro. Looking for a come up. This is awesome. Walk up into the club like, what up? I got a big. I'm just pumped by some shit I bought at the thrift shop. I saw on the fringe is so damn foxy. People say that's a cold ass honky. Rolling in the hesitate, rolling in the hesitate. Melody, Rambling, come on, baby, rambling. You talking about that one? 2018, not an NIFC, guys. I just put it on there to let you see it. But 2018 is not an NIFC. Come on, rambling, oh, Black Betty, rambling. Some of the songs I would be doing better on. I'm surprised I'm getting a little bit stumped. Oh, that's a great song. Well, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. Doon, 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 in the desert, you can't remember your name. Because there ain't no one for to give you no name. La da la da 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 la da 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 All right, guys. Up next... The one, the only, Mr. B. I got a dog. And I feel time's a waste to go. We got a V-nickel. So where are you going for tomorrow? And I see that these are lies to come. Or would you even care? And I feel it. Feel it. Where are you going for tomorrow? I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. <laughs> Leave it. On a sun train only yesterday, you lie. Promises of what are soon to be only washes time, goes by. All the things, things they said to you. That song need you need to sing it loud because of the pitch. Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. Won't you come wash away the rain, black hole sun? Won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? Yep. Ain't no security. The pockets jingling. Midlife crisis. I don't know who Lee Greenwood is. On a lone and lonesome highway, east of Omaha, you can listen to the engine ring out as one long song. You can think about the woman or the girl you knew the night before. 
Well, your thoughts will soon be wandering the way they always do when you're riding 16 hours. There's nothing much to do. And you don't feel much like riding. You just wish the trip was through. Oh, here I am. On the road again. There I am. Oh, up on the stage. Yeah, here I go. Playing a star again. There I go. Turn the page. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> J Mac. Raven is a solo cover band. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Huh? A wedding a wedding singer without a wedding to sing at. <laughs> oh guys, I saw the, the the Dan band, the guys that did Wedding Singer in live and hung out with them before. That guy is so cool, actually. Oh, he does the proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. I don't really know anything but those words right there. All right, Crafty Dragon. I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. I see the promises in the songs of yesterday, and I made up my mind. I ain't wasting no more time, but here I go again. Here I go again. I'm just another heart in need of rescue. Waiting on love, sweet charity. Oh Lord, I pray to give me strength to carry on. Ding, diggy, ding, ding. But I know what it means to walk along that lonely street of dreams. Jiggy, ding, jiggy, ding. But here I go again on my own. Vroom. Rolling down the only road I've ever known. Hey, you know what is crazy? I'm just a freak on a leash. Um, that song by White Snake. The video was almost like a a, a uh, soft core porn. The way the lady danced on the hood of the Jaguar. Digging Dave. Holy cow! What up, Digging Dave? U.S. Silver Stacker. What's going on, Pantera? Oh, yes, I love Pantera. Walk, what do you say? Respect. Walk, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? No way, punk. <laughs> Walk on home. Uh, too funny. Too funny. Too, 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 too funny. Too funny. A little too tall, could have used a few pounds. Rather than here, all around. She was a black haired beauty with big brown eyes. With nothing on, sing away up high. Yes, Tawny Katane. Oh, she passed. That's a bummer, man. That's a real bummer. Den Mo, Den Mo, welcome to the show. All right, uh, Mr. B, brother, I'm sorry you didn't get anything extra in there. Sweating bullets! Hello, me, it's me again. <laughs> no calling to my direction. Here's a war inside my head. Okay, what's the one thing? Believe it or not, I've never listened to Pantera. Pantera's a good, good, uh, good group, brother. Good group. Two... Four, six, seven for the Flying Dutchman. Hello, me. Read the real me. Yeah, unfortunately, Dave Mustaine does not like people singing his music. Just like the Pied Piper led rats through the streets. Just like marionettes swaying to the sympathy. Or symphony swaying to the symphony of destruction. 
Oh, that's a great song. Nobody loves no one. War was on fire. No one could save me but you. Strange world desires that make foolish people do. I never dreamed that I'd love somebody like you. No, I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. No, I want to fall in love with you. What a wicked game you play. To make me feel this way What a wicked thing to do To make me dream of you What a wicked thing to say You never felt this way What a wicked thing to do To make me dream of you No, no, I want to fall in love. <laughs> Queensryche. I like Queensryche. Don't you feel it calling? Don't you feel it calling? Empire. Black man, black man, trapped again, holds his dream in his hand. Brother kill brother for the profit of another. Game point. Nobody wins. Declines right on time. What happened to the dream divine? To tear it all up to bring it back again. Another empire. <laughs> Jet City Woman was a good one. Oh. What was that song? Uh, she got the beaches. I got the brews. Pre today is like saccharine. It's like ha ha so hot. Sticky sweet. From my head, head, head to my feet. Can you taste the sugar? What will we tell? <laughs> oh, man. Unfortunately, Metallica blocks everything you try to sing of theirs. <laughs> Hey, guys, if you want to see something awesome, old school, that makes fun of uh, Metallica, check out Camp Chaos and the Napster uh, cartoons that they did. You can find it on YouTube. They're freaking hilarious. Steel Panther. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, yep, pour some sugar on me. Uh, what was, I saw some other ones in here that somebody said, I understand, man, I did that. L.A. Guns. Uh, L.A. Guns, the only thing is, what a shame, what happened to Jane? I can't remember. Really like it, not me so, and it all seems funny, kind of like a dream. Things ain't always what they seem, what a shame. What happened to Jane? Flying Dutchman, did I? I didn't just put your stuff away, did I? <laughs> Some of these I haven't heard in a while. Silver Stanger, we're sold out, brother. I just don't have the new uh, thing yet. The, the new uh, sold out sign uh, seeker ran out of time and the old sign is just kind of doesn't fit the, the design anymore. So we're going to, we'll have a sold out sign in the near future. Has anyone read blah, blah, blah? <laughs> All right, guys, last roll. Flying Dutchman, I, I don't know what, I know I put your stuff to the side, brother. I don't know why. I feel bad. I should have waited until we were completely done here. Um, 
So what we're going to do, guys, is I am going to start the giveaway here. I need to run and use the restroom. I've been sitting here for quite a while, actually. And so, uh, guys, that is it. We have two rolls. We should have had three. I think I gave somebody an extra roll on accident. If we find anything in these last two rolls, we'll add them to the end of stream for free, just in case somebody get you know, or not in case somebody, free to the winner. Dutchman says, I'm not worried. Thank you, bro. I know you know. I would never shortchange the Dutch. Flying Dutchman's a good dude. All right, we got one more roll. Come on, for chat, got to be something good in here. Full box sale, says Ty Hitman. <laughs> Slow Thorpe in the house. Well, guys, I don't see... Anything in those rolls, but we tried. I'm gonna fly, fly to the angels. I got this lonely, lonely road. Ooh, I got this feeling, girl. I gotta let you go. That's total hairband, and you got a funky cold Medina. <laughs> I got everybody here, even Alex from Stroh's. Tone Loke, the funky Cole Medina. All right, guys, here's what we're doing for the giveaway. You're getting yourself a 1966, 1967 mint, special mint sets. In these plastic holders, these are more desirable than the cellophane holders because these were put out by the United States Mint. You can see right there, produced by U.S. Mint and packaged by U.S. Mint. Yep, that was Slaughter. Ooh, I got this feeling. <laughs> All right, so here's the 66. Here's the 67, which is very, very nice, guys. And matter of fact, there's one or two coins in here. You might consider getting graded. You might get the whole set graded. These mint sets are cool stuff. Kind of like a in between a proof and a business uh, strike. Alistair partied with Slaughter. Nice, man. All right, guys. We're going to set up the industry and giveaway. Slowthorpe needs the 66. It's only going to be three minutes long, guys. Three minutes long, and that is it. We don't believe in doing super long into streams. Get your name in there while you can. I will show you the bot is right here. We got to get rid of these two real quick, but there you go. There is the bot. Big special thank you to all the people that donated tonight. Mr. Dearborn, happy birthday, brother. Dewey Cheatham and Howe, Chris Nab, Breeze for me, CM Silver, Ring and Constitutional, Ty Hitman, Chris Nab, Mr. B, and Flying Dutchman. Oh, darn it, guys. Hold on. Guys, I got to reset this. It went to seven minutes. I don't know why. I'm refunding everybody. I apologize. Let me get this down to three minutes. There we go. It is now reopened. Please re-enter the giveaway. I'm sorry. It accidentally went to seven minutes, and we needed three. Hey, my bad, guys. My bad. All righty. Let me see those fit. Yeah. Thank you, Surfer Surfer. I appreciate that, brother. Surfer Surfer saying awesome stream. That means a lot to me, guys. It really does. Because me sitting here just singing at people and babbling for, for hours on end. <laughs> uh, but I love you guys. I really do. All right. So get all this in here. We're even going to throw in some Peppa magnets because... Uh, we're down to the last, guys. We got three Peppa magnets after I do this giveaway left, and that's it. Put these in a baggie. And 
And then, guys, we got to say the shout out to the Raven Nation members. Our newest member, welcome to the Nessu Hatton as a Golden Eagle, ladies and gentlemen. Really, really cool as Sue. Then we have Gilbert Rogers, Cosmic Creations, Dobbs, Mr. B, Big Flip Coins, Rock Monkey, Ring and Constitutionals, Kristen Mueller, Silver Streak, Retired Navy Rob, Miss Coin Crew, Chris Nab, Ray Ray, Jack Covert, Can Can Collectibles, Slothorpe, Robert Worley, DA Fuzz, Patrick Johnson. Oh, also Nicole on YouTube, Heavy Arrow Archer Coins. Mr. Brightside Coins, Matt Poe, Shane Kennedy, A.G. Price, Surfer Surfer, Angry Warrior, Tackle Box, Mark East, Benjamin Lee, Alexander, Old Town Homestead, Largemouth Bass, Fish and Hank, Surfer Surfer, A.G. Chopsticks, A.G. 47 Recon, C.M. Silver, Canadian Ryan, Big Mill, Badlands 44, Nickel Nations, Coins and More, Arrow Coins, Rob Finds Treasure, Betty Jane, Mustang Dave, Frank Rush, Jeff SNG, Cha Ching Seeker, Jack Stack Silver, It's Suzy Q, Tim Eisman, Gringo, OG22. Haven't seen Suzy Q in quite a while. Roy Hathaway, Weave Man 77, Mickey Robs Banks, Old White Guy, Brass Junkie, Silver Hair Seeker, Rob Finds, uh, Retro Robbie, Sergeant Stacker, Josh Schultz, Super Jaw 29, Michelle Ibarola, Miss Raven, Silver Seeker, John Scott, Rose Dragon Coins, Jeff Brown, Michael Ellis, Ida Herring, Coin Crew, Catman Dooism, Plumber Stacker, Hillbilly, Tie Hitman, I Sir, Sir Benji, A Foot for Silver, <clears throat> Wolfie Olin, Michael and Lord Zachary Burnett, Bill Gibson, I-90 Coins, Muster Marmello, Cujo Coins and Collecting, Pe Papa Frank Guido, Rick Howe Jr., Bill's Coins and Treasure, Eric Fullerton, Caribbean Coins, David Bucci, Dr. Days, Mr. B, or Mark B, Silver Swanner, Richard Sappington, Teacher 1388, Dutch Flying Dutchman, Karsten Hunt Silver, Des Logic, Silver Keeper, and Full Push Medals. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here tonight. All the love. It's time to pick that winner. Chicken, chicken, dinner, dinner. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> VT Redneck 83, ladies and gentlemen. VT Redneck 83. You're the winner, brother. Congratulations. You got this really cool package right here. Matter of fact, I'm going to put this into an envelope for you. VT Redneck says, boom. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make sure it's in this envelope. And this is VT Redneck 83. And then, guys, last but definitely never least, a big shout out and thank you to all the mods J Dog, Chris Nab, CM Silver, Silver Streak, Alistair Black, Jesse O, Canadian Ryan, Sergeant Stacker, a hardworking guy there. Um, our newest uh, Ike's Girl as a mod, uh, Nicole on YouTube. I think I already said Silver Streak, uh, Peter Bowes. Ty Hitman, Des Logic, CM Silver, Chasing the Gold, and I always miss somebody. We got we filled the board, that's for sure, Wolfie Olin. Thank you for being here. J Dog, AG Price, that's another person I need to thank. And uh, guys, much love and respect. We'll see you in the very near future. Mr. B, good to see you. Like always, make sure to take care of one another. Budget Bullion Stacker, shout out to you too, my friend. You came super late, but uh, I don't forget you. I just forgot today. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Much love, much respect. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Raven Hot Coins, have a great day. Alistair Black.